three years ago. This was the Rocky Mile Hill Climb at the Kosciuszko Killer Hard Enduro. Dry, dusty, absolute chaos. This year, it's wet, muddy and slippery. Hard Enduro Heaven. Is this Australia's longest hard enduro climb? I don't know, but it feels like it. These are highlights from the 19 minute supporters vid, along with handy tips for gnarly hill climbs. The first part of the climb is easy. We are sweep riders, so we ride at the back of the group and help the riders who are struggling. There is constant light rain, so it's difficult to keep the camera lens dry. This is still an easy section of the hill climb. Many riders have already returned because they have burned out their clutch, small injuries, or they simply couldn't finish the hill climb. If riders are struggling at this point, they will have huge problems with the very tough sections in a few minutes. I am loving the grunt of this Sherco 300. Low engine revs means more traction, and this engine can easily chug up hills just above idle speed. Good clutch control is important too. Slow hill climbs require a lot of clutch slipping. I leave the track to get around these riders. Hard enduro coaches say it's important to think outside the box. Kara keeps her body to the rear of the bike for traction. Leg paddling helps with balance, but keep your weight on that rear tyre. Oh, You're doing well? Thank you. Lots of paddling. Yeah, it's the way. Low air pressure makes a huge difference. I think it's more important than your choice of tyre. We use the tubeless system with only 3 psi. The result? Ridiculous amounts of traction. If you use tubes, you can reduce your air pressure to 5 psi for tough hill climbs. Go girl. Yeah! Then use a small pump to inflate the tube again at the summit. Ensure you have good rim locks fitted. Momentum is very important. You don't need a lot of speed for this hill climb, but it's important to keep moving. If you stop, it's difficult to regain that momentum and it can drain your energy quickly. If you stop, there are some great techniques to get moving again. The seat bounce, very useful. We cover various techniques in our training vid, traction tips when stuck. As you let the clutch out, bumper. Yeah, for the seat bounce. Yeah, way to go. If you are stuck on an obstacle, move backwards to provide more run up and speed. Run up you can get, you can get about an extra 20 centimeters. Yeah, that's good. Just checking, you see rocks in front of the rear wheel. So if Tara does a seat bounce, she'll get straight up. Yeah, that's good. You're off them now. Don't rush. Women often have this advantage. Guys tend to just throw themselves at difficult sections and hope for the best. Here is the most difficult section of the hill climb. There are various tracks. Some tracks look easier, but this always means they are much steeper further up the hill. This track is a good example. Easy at the beginning, then far too steep. I turn around and take an alternative track. A uh, good pivot turn. Some difficult rocks and tree roots. I keep the engine revs low and slip the clutch. Too many riders were revving their bikes and dropping the clutch on these sections. The end result, out of control motorbikes, digging holes <laughs> and plenty of crashes. 
For the next two minutes, <laughs> we are showered with rocks and mud. In most situations, the moment your rear wheel spins, you are making a mistake. Learn how to get good traction and you will rarely spin that rear wheel. This rider has the right idea. He helps the other rider. If someone does help you, remember to reciprocate. We were shocked at the number of riders who didn't return the favour. And many riders don't even say thanks when you spend five minutes helping them in a difficult section. <laughs> Learn some manners, people. Uh, this is exhausting. I am glad there were so many traffic jams which forced me to stop. I can only ride for about one minute before I am out of breath again. <laughs> this is a really tough sport as you get close to 60 years old. I am using every technique possible to conserve energy. Race pace is very important for young riders too. If you ride too aggressively, you will rapidly become exhausted and make mistakes. It is very important to ride at a steady pace with minimal stops if possible. <laughs> at my age, you just stop every minute. I hope you enjoyed the Rocky Mile. We have more Kosciuszko Killer vids coming. If you would like to see the much longer supporter vids, sign up.